Before you begin this tutorial, you will need your finished logo design. Your design should be neat and colored in black and white. After you have scanned in your logo, you can visit this website in your browser. This website will convert our images to a file that is usable for 3D printing. First, choose your file from your photos. It may take a moment to process. Once it is uploaded, you can click the green start button to convert your file. Once it has processed, you can download your file by clicking on the download button to the right. To make sure it downloaded to your files, you can click on the down arrow on the top of your browser to see all of your downloads. Once you have your downloaded file, you can open up the Tinkercad app. If you have not already logged in, ask your teacher for additional help on this step, or you can refer to the login resource on Google Classroom. The first thing you will need to do is start a new design in Tinkercad. Once you have opened a new work surface, click the Import button on the top right of your screen. This is how we will insert your drawing from your downloads file. If you did not follow along with the first half of the video, please do so before completing the next steps. After clicking Import, click Choose a File and then Browse on the bottom left of your screen. Choose your file from your downloads. Once your artwork pops up on the app, check to make sure the file is the correct one, and then click Import. It may take a while to process the import. While waiting, I zoomed out my screen to see the whole logo. Click on your logo once it has populated the work surface. I used the bottom corner sizing tab to make my design smaller on my screen. We will use the orange cylinder for the base of our stamp design. You can find it under basic shapes. Click and drag the shape onto your work surface. Now that we have our design and our stamp base added to our work surface, we can begin changing the dimensions on our screen. To change a dimension, click on your object and then click on the black square as shown on the video. Click on the number and then type in your new dimension of 1.5. Repeat the process with the other side of your cylinder to make sure it is a perfect circle shape. Both sides should read 1.5. You should also change the height of your cylinder by clicking on the white box near the center of the circle. Type in 0.5 for the new height. Now that our cylinder is the correct size for our stamp base, we will repeat this process with our logo design. Our logo should be slightly smaller than our stamp base to avoid any issues when printing. First, let's change the height by clicking on the white box in the middle of your logo design. The new height should read 0.12. Then click on the black tabs on your logo design on the right or on the bottom to change the width and the length measurement. Our stamp will measure one by one. Now that we have gone over how to change the length, width, and the height, I will time lapse the rest of the step. Feel free to pause at any time needed. The diagram with the stamp dimensions is also listed in the presentation if you need a visual when changing the size. Our stamp base should measure one and a half by one and a half, while our logo design should measure one by one. This means that our logo is slightly smaller than our base. We can begin by dragging our logo closer to our base. Notice that while I drag the logo on top of the base, it disappears. We need to move the logo up so that it rests on top of the base. We can do this by clicking on the black arrow and starting to pull our logo up. The next thing we need to do is flip our design so it is the mirror image. We can do this by clicking on the double triangle tool at the top and then click the horizontal black arrows to flip your image. You may need to recenter your logo on your stamp base. 